Okay, when we last left off, uh, I had shown you that you can find uh, something like this, and, uh, and let's just talk about this particular kanji right here, and we can identify that. Again, this, let's suppose this was written on a piece of paper. It wasn't in a uh, digital form like a word processor, and we wanted to find out what, uh, what this means. So we were able to use the radical lookup tool and find it using the, the, the pieces of this kanji that were identifiable. And we found this one, we called that the grass radical, and this one we called the water radical or water bushu. Bushu is a, is a the term which uh, we call in English a radical, or a part of the kanji. And um, so we were able to find that right here, identify it, and say, yep, that's it. We inserted it into the, the, uh, the file. Okay, so now let's, let's do one, one step further with that and say, okay, um, what about this thing? So, is that, uh, okay, I found out that this means China, but what does this, this thing mean here? If we found these two characters on a piece of paper, what does that mean together in context? Well, one way we can, we can uh, attempt to solve that problem is to select the kanji, go up to the dictionary button, click on that, or again, remember you can use you can use control D as it shows there, or F6, uh, those are the shortcuts. But if, you know, if you don't remember that, that's fine, you just go up to the dictionary button, click on that, and then the potential combinations of this come together uh, and are displayed in our um, in our dictionary. Now there may be hundreds of these, so this may just selecting a single kanji might not be a good idea because you you have so many different uh, possibilities uh, for some for some combinations. But in this case, uh, I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work. But let's let's take a look. So again, we're looking for the combination of this plus this. This kanji here plus this kanji here. Okay, so the first one, that one plus that one, that doesn't look like that guy right there. So, okay, that's not it. So we go through, and basically, if you notice, all of these start with, the, uh, with that, uh, that first kanji there. So we go there. Nope. How about this one? Does that match it? Uh, nope, it doesn't look like it. Okay, what about this guy? Does that match it? Well, let's see, it's got that little little part on the top, and it's got this little thing going down, and it's got this line across. It seems to match that one. So, yes, indeed, that does match, and, it, and uh, as you see here, uh, it says Chinese characters or kanji. So we'll use, we use the dictionary lookup to get our, our term in context. And we can, we can select that, we can insert it to the file. You notice it inserted that uh, right there after, after the kanji. And we can also, if we want to throw in the, the, uh, the English, we can throw that in there as well. Insert to file. And I'll go ahead and close this box and you'll see that we have uh, this. Actually, I'm going to erase this character with a backspace key. Okay, so now I have this, and the pronunciation is ka n g kanji, kanji. It's a noun, and uh, the meaning there Chinese characters or kanji. Okay, so that's uh, that's uh, an application of that. Okay, let's do another. Let's do another one. So I have one already prepared here. On uh, let's see. Untitled 3, I think, was the one I used. There we go. So let's say that uh, you're, you're reading through some 
text or a book or some kind of newspaper and uh, or somebody writes this down on a piece of paper and you don't know what this says. Now there's a clue here. This is a question. Uh, there's our question mark. And if you remember from the previous lesson, whenever you have a ka at the end of a sentence like this, ka, that means uh, that's the Japanese particle, which means uh, it's a question. So something, 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 ka. Now, the other, the other thing here is this is the, the hiragana for te with the two tick marks there that make it a voiced uh, syllable. So te becomes de. So this is this all together right here is de. And this is the hiragana su. So de su or des su. And if you remember that the su when it's when it's used in that, that verb form, the verb to be des uh, is is softened. So it's des des. So this says something something deska. Something something deska. So so usually when you see deska at the end of a Japanese sentence, it means uh, uh, is it uh, or you know are you like when I said uh, 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 a question like uh, America jin deska. That would mean, are you an American person? Okay. So this is kind of a question of of uh, of being. Okay. Uh, are you or is it? That's what that means. Okay. But that's not that's not the point of this lesson. The point of this lesson is what the heck is this stuff over here, right? Okay. So let's try to find what this is. And. Uh, uh, some of some of you might already know what this is. Some of you martial artists might already know what this is, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it away quite yet. Uh, but if you're a martial artist, you might know what this character is. But uh, that's kind of a sort of a hint, but not not really. Okay, but let's 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 start with this first one. Okay, I don't know what what that means. Let's pretend I don't know what that means. So let's go into our our radical lookup here and see if we can find any parts of that. Okay, now in some of the radicals, like on the previous, uh, let me just close this for a, for a moment and go back to number two here. On this one, on con, the radical was on the side. Sometimes the radical is on the top. Like on this one, the radical is this, uh, this, this top part here. And we can confirm that by selecting it and going to uh, character information. And we can see that the bushu for this is this little, uh, this little pot lid, as they call it, this little pot lid. Uh, or it could be this, this one here. Uh, but but usually, the, in this case, the, the top of it is the, is the radical, or the bushu. Okay? But, uh, so, so sometimes the radical is on the side, sometimes the radical is on the top. But in this case, let's go through that window. There we are. In this case, the radical, well, where is it? It looks like the top and the side are connected. Hmm, what's that mean? Well, maybe it's just this, this tick mark with this apart, across, and maybe it's the two things there, or maybe, I don't know. Let's, let's see if we can find out some more information about this. So let's go to our, our, um, our, uh, our radical lookup button, Control L. Normally when I'm doing this, I just hit Control L because I'm so used to doing that. But uh, anyway, so let's. I'm going to put this right here so we can we can see this character, and let's let's scan through here and see if we can find something. Well, one one thing that and we're going to make kind of an educated guess on on this 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 thing here. Let's suppose that it kind of is is this whole piece here, this whole wraparound piece, this top part, and this side part. 
If it is, how many strokes does it have? Well, it has one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So now we could, we could. Let's 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 just let's kind of say, all right. I I don't even know that. Let's say I'm I'm not even that smart. That I don't know uh, anything about this wraparound business. Let's say, okay, I see a, a kind of a pot lid here. Um, this, uh, where, where is it here? This one. Okay, I've got that part. And I see these two little tick marks here on the side, and I see that over here. Okay? So, okay, when we select those two parts of characters, do we find anything that matches this? We only have four here. So one, two, three, four, excuse me, we only have five. One, two, three, four, five. Well, those don't look like it. So, ah, that didn't work. So we can clear that and say, all righty, well, that didn't work. And sometimes uh, uh, failure is, is a good thing when you're trying to learn something. So we'll say, okay, we, that wasn't it, so we know not to do that part again. All right, well, so let's, let's, let's go back to our, our, uh, our smart uh, state and say, okay, let's suppose it's this whole wraparound thing. How many strokes does that have? Well, it has one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's just take a guess. And if we're wrong, we're wrong, and we can, we can try something else. Okay, so here's five. So let's look at the radicals for five. Okay, that doesn't match. That doesn't match. That doesn't match. That's different. These guys look like they're different. Okay, let's go down to the next line. That doesn't look anything like it. And, hey, wait a minute. Look at that. Look at that thing. That looks exactly like that thing there. Hmm. Okay. So let's click on that guy. And let's see what we can find. Okay. So uh, it looks like we've got a, a fair number of uh, kanji. Like that. So let's, let's just kind of scan through and see. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be on the first on the first section here. So that's not it. That's not it. Nope. 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 Whoop. Hey, it's got some some hangy down feet stuff there. That's eh, not quite the same though. Okay, how about that? No, that's not it. That's not it. That oh, is that got something there? Nope, that's not it. Hey, wait a minute. That looks very, very, very much like it. So let's click on that. And let's get to see what does this mean? What does this kanji mean? Uh, okay, that yep, yeah, that that matches our picture there. And uh, it turns out that the radical is actually the whole thing. So uh, there must be a radical that is this whole thing. And it says it it has ten strokes. So we could find it. And actually, I'm going to close this for a minute. Let's go down to the 10 stroke radicals here and see if we can find it. One, uh, 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 uh. Well, I don't I don't see it. So, I don't know, let's go back, let's go back to the kanji. Get the info. And uh, it says it's Bushu 104, so we can uh, another time we'll, we can look that up. But uh, what does this mean? Well, it means ill or sick. Okay. So, hmm. We will take that and insert that into the file. And then we could do the same thing with this character, but another approach is to say, well, maybe... Maybe I can find this with the dictionary. Find perhaps this whole expression here will be in context by just using that one character. Let's go up there to the dictionary and see what happens. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Let me move that there. Okay. And let's scan through here and see if we see any anything. Uh, that matches that. And lo and behold, if you scan there, you'll see this guy 
right here, which means illness or disease or sickness. So let's 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 throw that in there. We can insert that into the file, or, or here's a here's a shortcut. You can double click on that and get it into the file. And I'm going to erase the first one like I did before. And it says this means illness or disease or sickness, and it's pronounced B. That's he with a two ticks becomes B. He becomes B. B yo yo, and it's elongated vowel. Bioki, bioki, and bioki is the term for for sickness. So if you want to ask somebody if they are if they are sick, you simply say. Yoki desu ka? Yoki desu ka? That means sickness. Are you sick? And uh, and then uh, the person may or may not answer you correctly. But anyway, that's uh, that's finding context with a particular character. Okay, we'll see you on the next video.